I want to be really honest with you guys for this week's video. You know, I'm a guy and guys are supposed to grow up to be men. And like many other guys in our culture, whether you're a guy, a young adult or a teenager or you're well into your adult years, 30s, 40s, 50s and so on, I feel inadequate. I struggle with feeling like I have what it takes. I struggle with feeling competent, like I know what I'm doing. You know, there's so many things that men are supposed to know how to do, you know, whether it's fixing things or working on cars or working around the house or doing whatever. There's all these manly skills that we're supposed to know, but I don't. And I know that plenty of other guys don't know how to do them either. John Eldridge, he's an author that I've been reading a lot lately. He writes a lot on masculinity and he says that the question at the core of every man's heart is wondering if he has what it takes. If he has what it takes to get the job, to fix the problem, to get the girl, to do whatever. And the truth is, most guys would answer that question no. Now why is that? Why do we have all these insecure passive men just wish-washing their way through life? Or why do we have all these overly aggressive insecure men who try to play big and tough on the outside but deep down they're just an insecure little boy why do we have those two extremes of the spectrum well some would blame it on the lack of fatherhood many guys don't have dads in their life whether their dad was absent emotionally spiritually physically their dad just wasn't there for them their dads didn't give these boys the fathering that they needed when they were growing up and now they're growing up to just be these wounded, broken individuals who are incapable of becoming the men that they're supposed to be. So what's my story? Well, as many of you may or may not know, I lost my dad about a year and a half ago in a car accident. Most people would say that I had a good dad and I would say that I had a good dad. I know that he loved me and my mom and my brother. He provided for us, he protected us. You know, he served as a really strong foundation in my family's life. But many of these things that he knew how to do, many of these things that he was competent, I failed to learn from him. And now he's gone. He's been gone. And I struggle with feeling like I'm all on my own. That everything's on me. I struggle with feeling like I'm stupid. That I don't have what it takes. That I'm just a scared little boy who's completely all on his own and my life's going to be horrible from this point on. <laughs> you know, I struggle with thoughts that tell me that. But those those thoughts that I have are not the truth. In his book, The Way of the Wild at Heart, also known as Father by God, if you try to find the book now, John Eldridge says this, A good father was meant to teach us truly about our Father God and teach us to walk with Him. For a day will come, sooner or later, when the son will no longer have his earthly father by his side, if he ever did have him there, and he must go on with God. So one way or another, our lives find their fulfillment in union with our Heavenly Father. If there's one thing that my dad did me right on, is that he taught me how to have a relationship with God. Whether you had a good dad like I did, or a bad dad, or no dad at all, our dads are gonna fail us. They're human beings. The reason why our dads failed us is because they've been failed too. But ultimately, we weren't meant to be completely and totally reliant on other human beings. You know, we have a Heavenly Father who loves us, who created us with a purpose, who wants to be in relationship with us. Those gaps that you feel in your fathering, that competence and confidence that you're longing for, that thing that I'm longing for, that thing that all men are longing for, to have a father, to find purpose in life, I firmly believe that you can find that in God. I don't fully understand it. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and make this video telling you guys that I have it all figured out, that I know exactly what it means to be a man, to be a man of God. I'm making this video to tell you guys that I'm on a journey of figuring it out. What does it look like to be fathered by God? I think he teaches us in his word. He teaches us in prayer. He can teach us through the everyday trials in our life that are frustrating. We're like, oh, why am I going through this right now? Well, maybe the reason why you're going through a particular trial right now is because God's trying to teach you something and he's trying to prepare you for something down the road. Not only that, but God uses other men, other individuals to father us, to teach us skills, to teach us things that we need to know. God is available to father us. We just have to open ourselves to it. My encouragement to every guy watching this is this. It's okay to admit that you don't have it all together. 
but it's not okay to stay where you are. Our culture needs men to be men. Our culture needs men to step up, to protect those who need protection, to provide for the needs of our communities and for our families. For one, we need one another to build each other up, but ultimately we need God. In Him, we're gonna find our purpose. He made this universe, He made us for a reason, and we're only gonna find that reason if we talk to Him. There's a lot of big ideas that I'm touching on. I would encourage you guys, if you wanna dive deeper into these topics, to read John Eldridge's Wild at Heart, and also read his follow-up, Father by God. In closing, you can learn the things that you need to learn to become a man, to become a better man. You do have a purpose in life. It just takes you going to God to find those things. There's hope, guys. I believe in you. Our culture needs this rising up in masculinity to happen. And I believe that we have what it takes to make it happen. That's all I got for you guys this week. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Love you.